السلام الله عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته حبايبي طلبة وطالبات الصف الأول الثانوي أهلا وسهلا بيكم في فيديو جديد هنشرح فيه النهاردة إن شاء الله شابتر 7 من قصة تريزر أيلاند إيه لو أول مرة تعرفني طبعا سبسكرايب للقناة وشير لأصدقائك عشان الكل يستفاد ويلا بينا يبدأ الفيديو بالله عليكم بالله عليكم اعملوا لي سبسكرايب ولايك وقبل ما تخرجوا من الفيديو قولوا سبحان الله باي Jim Hawkins, I walked with Ben Gunn and we soon saw the fort. Your friends will be inside Jim, said Ben. It might be the pirates, I replied. No, look at the flag, they will be good men, he answered. The fort was made by Flint. He was a clever man and he wasn't frightened of anyone except Silver. Let's go inside, I said. I can't go in there, Gunn replied. I don't trust anyone, I will wait for you. Remember, what I told you, I can help you. Come and find me tomorrow. Before I could go to the fort, there was the sound of more gunfire, and I had to hide, so I wouldn't be hit. From the trees where I waited, I could now see the Hispaniola. It was also flying a flag, but it was the Black Spirit's flag. When it was nearly dark, I walked round to the back of the fort and called out. The door opened, and Dr. Livesey let me inside. I sat down and told them my story. The wine below sand inside the fort, and we found it everywhere. In our clothes, in our food, and in our eyes. There was a fire to keep us warm, but the room was also full of smoke, and we all coughed. Captain Smollett gave us all jobs. Some looked for firewood, others went to cook food, and I was asked to guard the door. He kept us all busy, and that made us all feel better. Captain Smollett is a good man, said Dr. Livesey later that day. And what about Ben Gunn? Is he a good man? I don't know, I answered. I think he is a little crazy. Any man on an island for three years will be a bit crazy, explains the doctor. Did you say that he wanted some good food? Yes, I replied. I have brought some cheese with me on the journey. Let's give it to Pingan, said the doctor. That evening, the men talked about how little food we had. We hoped that the pirates would leave the islands with Hispaniola. The doctor said that they would become ill if they slept outside on the island for long. And if the pirates left, we could wait until help arrived. I slept very well that night. The next morning, a voice woke me up. I heard someone say, Some pirates are coming to the fort with a white flag. Look, it's a silver. He wants the truth. I got up and looked from the fort. It was a cold morning. And, although it was sunny, there was a low mist. We could only see the head of the silver and another pirate. Stand the fort, said Captain Smollett. I'm sure that this is a trick. The pirates stay in the fort, said Captain Smollett. I'm sure that's a trick. Then he called out to silver. Tell us what you want. I want a truth, said silver. Captain Smollett quietly told us to move to different corners of the fort and to watch Silver. Then he called to Silver. What do you want us to do? Come to my ship and we can talk about how to get home, said Silver. You ship? I didn't know you had a ship here, replied Captain Smollett. Well, the crow chose me to be their captain after you left the ship, said Silver. If you have something to say, you can come in the fort and say it, said Captain Smollett. The other pirate tried to stop Silver, but he laughed and walked quickly toward the fort. He climbed over one of the fences and walked slowly up the hill. Soon he was standing in front of Captain Smollett, who was waiting for him, outside the door to the fort. Can't I come inside? asked Silver. It's a cold morning. If you were an honest man, you could come inside, said Captain Smollett. But are you my ship's cook, who I looked after? 
or Captain Silver, a pirate. Okay, we can stay here, said Silver, sitting down in the sand. You have got a nice place here. Look, there's Jim. Good morning. If you have anything to say, say it now, said Captain Smollett. Captain, we want a treasure and we are going to find it. However, I think you will want to leave the island safely. You have the map, don't you? Asked Silver. Perhaps say it small it. I know you have it. Say it's over. We don't want to hurt you. Give us the map and then we will take you home on the ship. We will take you to somewhere safe. Or if you prefer, we will leave you some supplies and you can stay on the island. Then we can ask another ship to come and take you home. It's a kind offer. And I hope you all want to take it. He said his last part loudly, so that we could all hear in the fort. Is that all you can offer? said Captain Smollett. It is, and if you don't accept my offer, all you will hear from me is the sound of guns. Now you can listen to me, replied Captain Smollett. If you come up to the fort, one by one, without any guns, I will put you all in chains and take you back to England for trail. If you don't, you will have problems. You can't find the treasure. You don't have enough men to sail the ship. And you can't find us here in the fort. Silva looked very angry. This will not end well for any of you, he said. And then he walked slowly back down the hill. Captain Lacton Smollett came back into the fort and said to us, he will, be, he will be back in an hour to attack us. There are more of them than us, but we have the advantage inside the fort, and I'm sure that we can win. خلصنا الحمد لله شرح وترجمة شابتر 7 في قصة ريجر ايلاند اتمنى تكون استفدت بالتوفيق للجميع انتظرني في فيديو جديد ان شاء الله نستكمل فيه شرح القصة وتدريبات عليها كمان شوفكم على خير كلكم سلام الله عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته